Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a clear out my wardrobe with me. I'm massively due a wardrobe clear out. My clothes are literally bursting out of the doors. It's got ridiculous. So I really need to sort out my clothes and I thought it'd be so much fun to film it so we could clear out my wardrobe together. Everything that I clear out today, I'm going to be putting up on my Depop account. And if you don't know what that is, it's an app where you can sell and buy clothes. It's really, really fun. So my account is at Freddie My Love. So this is my wardrobe. So many of you guys have wanted to see inside and now finally you are. So are you ready? Ta-da! So this is pretty much everything. I do also have a chest of drawers that has like my jeans and um, shorts and t-shirts and that kind of thing in, but this is all my hung clothes. As you can see, there is a lot and I really need to make some space. So here at the front I just have a few like cardigans and hoodies and I do just want to keep these because I literally have three and I just think like they're really useful things to have for flying and just for lazing around the house so I'm definitely keeping those. And then as you can see it's kind of colour coordinated so I have my dark things here which there are very little of. So here I have a few black dresses. I have this which is just a really simple black dress with a Peter Pan collar. I am going to keep this because I just feel like it's a really simple smart classic dress um, and just good to have in your wardrobe. Um, same with this as well, this is a really old Topshop dress. It's the same with these dresses, I love all of these and I don't have very many dark stuff. This one is from a Selfridge, I love this. Um, this one is like my life, this is my, one of my favourite dresses ever, this is from Ted Baker. I've had this for a few years and I just love it. And I've also got this one that I got this year from Zara which again I just love, I will not throw that away, I've worn it so many times and I really like it. So all of the dark stuff is staying. Right, so I have this dress and I think I will probably um, clear this one out. Um, I know it's beautiful but I've worn it and it's more of like an occasion dress and I just can't see myself wearing it again. It's really really pretty but I have to be ruthless and I can't see myself wearing this one again so goodbye! Right I'm just gonna tie my hair up because I'm getting hot already. So here are my red dresses. Definitely gonna keep this one. I love this. This is the one that I wore to um, Paris with YSL and it just has a really lovely memory for me and I just think it's so classic and beautiful. I'm also gonna keep this one because this is so so flattering like it's just really flattering on my body it's one of those dresses that I very rarely wear but when I wear it I feel so good so definitely keeping hold of that okay now I have this one this is from Jones and Jones which I actually think really sadly has gone into administration I don't think they're around anymore I went on their website to look at their new stuff and it just wasn't there anymore and their social media had gone and I was really sad because Jones and Jones dresses are absolutely beautiful this one I wore because I did a Christmas um, vlog photo shoot so I literally wore this once and I don't think I'm going to wear this again <laughs> I think I'm gonna clear this one out then I have this dress which I'm definitely gonna get rid of because I totally forgot I had it and I don't I do like it it's really pretty it's like a um, wine velvet bodycon dress this is from boohoo but I've had this a while and I've barely worn it and I don't think I will so that's going as well then I have this gorgeous play suit by Rebecca Rhodes it's all this like autumnal leaf print and it's so flattering and it's really really cool I want to wear it to like a fashion week one day or something so yes keeping these three and I have three dresses now that I've thrown out. This is actually going quite well. And actually most of my winter stuff, like my winter coats and most of my jumper dresses and stuff are actually upstairs in the loft. Um, but I did just keep a couple down in case we did have a cold day, which has actually happened quite a lot this summer. Um, so I have this one by Vera Moda, which I absolutely adore. Um, I wear this a lot. Um, and then I also have this one, which... I don't really wear it. I just didn't find myself wearing this. In fact, it doesn't even have the tag in. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now I have a selection of blue dresses, like the one I'm wearing now. Um, so let's pull these out. Okay, this I'm definitely keeping. This was the first like expensive higher end thing I ever bought and I saved up so hard for it. It's from Ted Baker. It's so beautiful. Look at the pleats at the back and the little bows. Um, I just feel like I can never get rid of this. <laughs> I love it. I've always loved Ted Baker. This is from Ted Baker also, which I love. This is very similar to the black one, um, except it's baby blue with beautiful like lacy detail at the top. Can't get rid of that. This one. I really love this dress. It's so beautiful. It's this really like deep plunging neckline and it's all tiered and it comes with like a tie to go around the waist. I don't really wear this because it comes down quite low and it's just really not, I don't know, I've never felt like 100% comfortable wearing it, but it is so beautiful. This is by um, Lioness. 
so I think I'm going to say goodbye to this one. Then I have this, which is my Zimmerman play suit, which I'm so lucky to have. Um, this is so beautiful. It's just absolutely stunning. It's totally backless. This is one of the really special things that I have in my wardrobe. That's why it's on a special hanger. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just put these down for a sec. This is the dress I wore for my first red carpet movie premiere. It's by Chi Chi and it's a full length gown. It's this beautiful, like icy greyish blue. It reminds me of Elsa from Frozen. Where would I wear this again? It's so dressy. The only time I would wear it again would be to another like premiere red carpet event but I probably wouldn't want to wear the same dress that I've already worn so um I think I should get rid of this which is really sad but it's just taking up a lot of space it's really like big dress so goodbye dress Okay, so now we're at my favourite part of my wardrobe. This is my occasion dresses section and it's pretty amazing. I don't know how I'm gonna throw anything away because I love everything, but I do really want to show you. So I have this dress, which is by Reclaim Vintage. It's just so stunning, like I can't even tell you. That's just not going anywhere. Then I have this dress. This one is by Ted Baker. Again, this is another one that I would have saved up for or maybe I got it for my birthday or Christmas. It would have been one or the other, um, but it really meant a lot to me. It was so special. I just love to vapor, always have. Then I have this dress, which I love. This is by Windsor. Um, it's so gorgeous, I can't get rid of that. Another Ted Baker dress, you guys, I'm obsessed. This is such a gorgeous, again, super classic, um, baby pink lace skater dress. I can't get rid of any of this stuff. Oh, this is, I'm multitasking on a hanger here. Um, this is a top by Ted Baker, of course. I've got little bows on the side. I can't get rid of that, sorry guys. And then this dress. I don't really wear anymore, but it has like sentimental value, so I can't get rid of it. It's really hard to get rid of things that have like a sentimental value, but I can't do it. I get really attached to things. Okay, I probably will get rid of this. I got this from Pretty Little Thing um, because I got so excited when I saw it. I thought it was so cool. I was like, wow. Um, still got the tag in. I've never worn it and I don't think that I will at this point. It's very snazzy and I do like it. It's off the shoulder as well, like this, but I'm going to be ruthless. Things I don't wear are not going back in the wardrobe. So this will be up on my Depop. <laughs> it's really cute, but. <gasps> okay, this is like turning into a wardrobe tour because I'm not getting rid of these things, but I have to show you. Um, you guys probably would have seen this on my channel if you were watching around Christmas time. This was like my Christmas outfit. This is a needle and thread outfit. It's a gorgeous Victoriana blouse with a um, pinafore dress over the top. It is just amazing. It's, oh, needle and thread, seriously. I have another needle and thread dress here. This I wore to a wedding reception. I really wanted to get more wear out of this this summer, but we've just had the worst, most rainy summer. It's such a shame. Um, but I might wear this to my cousin's wedding because it's very, very beautiful. It's all embroidered at the top and it's just all floaty. It's like a midi dress. I love this. Needle and Thread is one of my favorite like occasion wear brands. Then I have this skirt, which I have not worn, still has the tag in, but I just can't throw it away because I was so excited when I got this. This is um, by Matthew Williamson and this skirt was like 200 pounds and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I love it, but I can't spend 200 pounds on a skirt. And so I waited and it went into the sale and it was like 80 pounds, but I couldn't, they didn't have it in my size. And I was so upset, I was like, no. And then one time I literally just went into um, Debenhams and I just saw it by chance and it was even more reduced. It was like 40 pounds and they had it in my size. So I was so excited. So I got it and I'm determined that one day I will wear it. <laughs> but that day hasn't come yet. I've got this amazing um, Zimmerman play suit. It's just incredible. It looks like an antique but in the best way possible. <sighs> so beautiful. Um, then I have this two piece from Zara. You guys may have seen this on my blog. It's a top and skirt. Um, the skirt has feathers on and it's like this pinky nudie tweed, it's very Chanel, and I really like this. And then I have this dress, which I love. This is by Foxy Docs, and this was like the most me dress I'd ever seen. When I saw this, even my boyfriend was like, Freddie, you have to get that dress. Like, that is you in a dress. It's, yeah, I love it so much. Okay, then I have this dress, and I feel like maybe I should sell this. It's really nice, it's from River Island, and it's like this nude metallic, and the shape of it and the way the neck and the sleeves are, it reminds me of like one of those traditional Chinese dresses. Oh, I don't know what to do about this because I haven't actually worn it out before, but 
I just feel like this is a good one to keep. I'm gonna keep it. Here I just have my Victoriana lace dress, which I can't throw away. I've got my um, high neck crochet jumpsuit, which I just got, and also this high neck lace dress, which again, I just got, so I won't be throwing away. This is a gorgeous, like, mink coloured um, satin play suit by Lipsy. This is a really pretty um, play suit from Miss Selfridge, and it's just really, really simple. If I'm going on a night out, which I don't do that often, but when I do, I seem to always wear this, just because I don't really mind if, like, a drink gets spilled over it, but I still feel quite nice in it, so I like keeping that. This dress, I want to throw away, but my mum says it looks really nice on me. She doesn't want me to throw it away, so I feel like I have to give it a bit more of a... <clears throat> I feel like I have to give this one a bit more of a chance. And then I have this crazy dress from Misguided, which, again, I haven't worn yet, but I'm determined to wear it. reminds me of Swan Lake, and I really want to wear it. And then there's another really basic white play suit underneath that, which, again, I wear when I'm going out and I don't really mind if it gets ruined. That segment of the clear out was a total fail because... I kept everything and I think I'm going to really struggle to throw out any of these blouses as well because I sort these out quite regularly and I definitely want to keep all of these but I will just show them to you so you know what I've got. Um, these are my cami tops, I just keep them all on one hanger, I have like four or five different colours just for different outfits. I have this one which is from Primark that I've had for years and I just can't throw it away and I never wear it but I just can't throw it away because I know one day I am going to just need this. It's pink and it has like gold butterflies on it and I just need it. I have this one, this pink one from Ted Baker, um, this just plain white cotton blouse from Hollister, these are so handy to have. I've got this pyjama kind of blouse from Miss Selfridge which I really like. Uh, this beautiful top that's all pleated at the back, this is from Windsor. I wore this so much, like the first year I started YouTube. This is like the only thing I wore <laughs> in like 2015. My Victoriana blouse from Zara, I feel like I just have to have one of these. It's like a staple. This beautiful silk blouse from Warehouse that has um, birds all over it. I'm not sure what birds they are. They're not swans, they're... maybe they are swans. I don't know, but it's very, very beautiful. It's silk, so... I love that. This blouse from H&M, which has like a pussy bow tie, which I don't really like, um, but I've worn it in a few videos for like costume, that kind of thing. I feel like it's really useful. And finally, this blouse, which is probably my most worn blouse. It's like the Dobby print. I have worn this top to absolute death, but I really like it, that's why. <laughs> okay, so that part of the clear out was also a fail, but I know for a fact that I really want to get rid of some of this stuff, so stay tuned. Here are my skirts and shorts. So. Let's pull some of these out. This I love, I'm keeping this. This is just from Primark, I got this ages ago, but it's just like a classic brown tweed skirt and I think it's very English and very cute, so definitely want to keep that one. Um, this is my beloved Zara skirt. You guys know the skirt, but I do feel like this winter will be its last winter, um, just because I wore it so much and it just looks a little bit tired. This grey skirt I bought and I thought I would really like it, but turns out I don't. I just haven't worn it as much as I thought. I kind of bought it to replace this one and it just hasn't done that and I'm going to be ruthless and I'm going to get rid of this skirt. I'm going to keep this one. This is a beautiful like pleated wraparound skirt from Jack Wills. It's like really gorgeous, kind of like itchy wool material but I really like that. This skirt I love, how pretty. It's like a button down pink suede skirt. She can stay. And then this skirt, oh this has got two as well. This one is from Zara. I love this. I wear this constantly. It was so cheap, so worth it. This skirt is from Warehouse and oh I really really like it but I just haven't worn it. I've had it for two years and I've never taken it out of my wardrobe to wear and I just think I don't have room for things like that and it's a shame because I really like it but I've just never been compelled to wear it. I'm gonna be ruthless and I'm going to get rid of it but I feel like I won't miss it. Maybe I will. I always panic. I always think like one day I'll be like oh I'm gonna go get that checked skirt from warehouse and then it won't be there and I'll be like oh my god I threw it away why did I do that? <sighs> oh well that's why I get nervous about throwing things away. More skirts. This one is from Mango. I haven't had the chance to wear this yet but I think it's really really cute with like the double breasted sort of heritage buttons. These shorts have, I mean, I love these shorts and it's such a shame because I've barely had the chance to wear them this summer because England has basically had an epic fail of a summer. It's been raining every day, so I'm keeping those. Ooh, I might get rid of this skirt. 
and I'm pretty sure it's brand new which is so annoying yep literally has the tag in this is from mango but I just haven't worn it and I don't have space for things that I don't wear so goodbye then I've got this um tiered mini skirt which I've just bought and I haven't had the confidence to wear it I need to like get the confidence to wear this oh my god this Paul and Joe skirt was so expensive but I just haven't worn it yet because I don't have anything to go with it like I don't actually know what top to wear with this and it's really tricky because it's off-white and none of my white tops go with it but I have to keep this it was so expensive and then this skirt by sister Jane which I just think is amazing again it's very Chanel um, definitely keeping that one next I have all of my trousers and I feel like I really need to get rid of a pair of these trousers because I have three pairs of pink trousers. Is it really necessary? I love these ones. These are from ASOS and they're like kind of this tailored style peg leg with a big bow at the waist and I'm gonna keep those ones. I really like them. Then these ones are all from Zara. I've got two um, frill hem trousers, one in white and one in pink. And then these, which have like the frill going all the way down. Oh, I don't know what to do about these. I feel like maybe I should get rid of the pink frill because then I have at least one frill and I still have two pink pairs of trousers. Okay, I'm gonna put them both in the throw away pile and just decide later. I can't decide now, it's too much pressure. Okay, now we're at what I think is the best bit because I have quite a lot to discard from here. This is like my casual everyday wardrobe, stuff that's quite recent, stuff that I wear quite often. So this is a Millie Macintosh dress and I adore this dress. I could never get rid of this. Um, it's so easy to wear. I've got so much wear out of it. It was quite expensive. I think it was about 60, 70 pounds, but it just feels like beautiful quality and I, yeah, I love this dress. Again, this is one of my most worn dresses. This one's from Zara. It's a really basic um, like shift dress with these lace sleeves and it's just one of those dresses that's just so easy to wear and I can always rely on it to look nice. Then I have this dress, which I think I will get rid of because I feel like I wore it a few times and I enjoyed it, but I'm kind of done with it. It's a very pretty shape. It's got this pleated skirt, comes in at the waist, um, but this isn't really my colour. I do think it's very pretty though, and I did wear this a few times and really enjoy it, like I said, but it's time to go. I actually have the exact same dress in white, and this is one that I just wear so much more often. I love this dress. These are from Unique 21. I will definitely keep the white one, and that makes the decision to let the orange one go um, make more sense. <gasps> These two dresses, oh my god, I knew I was going to get to these dresses and not know what to do. This one's Miss Selfridge. It's a midi close to maxi dress. Really pretty and floral and floaty. It's definitely got like Zimmerman vibes, which is why I got it. I don't know, I just haven't, I don't know if I'm going to wear this anymore. I'm going to sell this. And this dress, I can't explain it. I love the print of this dress so much. It's stunning. It really is. Um, it's from Topshop this year. But when I put it on, I can't explain it. It just doesn't look right on me. Every time I put it on, I take it off and put something else on. Like, I've never actually worn it because there's something about it, like, on me. I don't like it. I've seen other girls wear this and it looks perfect, which is why I held on to it. But I just don't think I'm going to wear this. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to say goodbye to it because I feel like someone else will enjoy that more than I have. More dresses. I have this um, culotte jumpsuit, which I adore. I have worn this so much since I got it. Um, it's like, again, like a minky color. This is from River Island. Oh, this outfit I got from River Island. It's like these crazy um, pink trousers with this pretty like floaty top. It's very 17. I'm going to keep that because I haven't really got any wear out of it yet and I think it's really, really cool. Of course I have to keep my pink Zara dress. I love this dress. This is like another dress that I've just worn to death this year. This dress I'm definitely going to get rid of because I've never worn it. It's still got the tag in. I was trying to jump on that 90s velvet cami trend but I just, it just didn't really work for me. It wasn't really my thing so I'm going to get rid of that. This dress I love. It's actually got a button missing, but I have the button. I need to set it back on. This is from Sister Jane. This is one of my favourite dresses. I just, this dress is incredible. It makes me think I'm wearing Chanel, so I love this dress. This dress I think I can definitely live without. I definitely got my wear out of it. I definitely enjoyed it, but I don't think I'll wear this anymore. I just don't love it anymore. And there's so much in my wardrobe that I love that, you know, I don't have room for things that I don't love. This is gonna go. All of these dresses I like. I just got this one from Lipsy. This one I just got from River Island. This play suit I don't really like that much, but it's one of those things that I just throw on 
when I'm really hot um, and I just need something, you know, not fancy to wear. And these dresses are just really lovely holiday dresses. This is my free people play suit, which is my life. I Instagrammed this play suit to absolute death last year. I just love it. And oh my God, my Topshop tea dress. This is like the most flattering dress ever. Every time I put this on, I just feel really good in this dress. So I'm keeping that. Here is my final few dresses. Apart from that, I just have my um, two coats and my jacket that I won't be throwing away because the reason they're in my wardrobe is because I wear them um, very regularly. This play suit is from Hollister. I got this for my birthday last year. And again, I just love throwing this on on a hot day when I don't want to wear something that's too super fancy. Um, I just got this. One option, I found this McDonald's in South Harrow, which averages four stars and is inexpensive. Is that the one you want? No. The second is McDonald's on St. Anne's Road. Okay, I don't, I don't even eat McDonald's, for goodness sake. It's a, does that one sound good? No, just leave me alone. This dress is from Accessorize and it's a little beach dress and I haven't been on a beach yet, sadly, this year. I'm about to, so I'm going to take this with me. Oh, this dress is so beautiful. This is from Ghost, so it's quite expensive. And my friend actually gave this to me, um she didn't want it anymore but I just it just doesn't suit me it's the most beautiful material I can't even describe to you it feels like water but I'm just not gonna wear this oh I have to get rid of this this is from Lipsy and it's a little dungarees dress and I truly love this but it's too big for me it's a size 8 and I would say it fits more of an 8 to 10 and I'm more of a 6 to 8 and it just doesn't look good on me and it's so sad because I really like it but I am gonna get rid of this then I've got this little dress from Boohoo, which I really like. I'm gonna keep that, so easy to wear. And it's a really nice, like, beachy dress as well. I've got this baby pink um, jumpsuit from Warehouse, which I haven't worn yet, because I just got it, and I do really want to wear that. And then finally, the last thing in my wardrobe is this. This is from Hollister, it's a little lace play suit. It's really pretty, and it's like a perfect summer everyday play suit, but I just feel like I've got other things that I like more. And I'm being ruthless. So I'm going to get rid of this. That's actually a vast improvement. I have so many things on my floor right now. That was really, really good. I feel so, I feel so cleansed now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I do hope that you head to my Depop if you have your eye on any of my old clothes. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below. I hope you're all having an amazing summer so far and thank you so much for watching. Bye.